Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello, Hello. teacher. Good evening, how are you? How are you? Good, everybody? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? I'm pretty good, thank you. I'm glad to be with you. Um, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good to see everybody. What a, not to be able to see because I don't see everybody, but um, but yes. Um, okay. So guys and girls, um it, all right. I'm going to ask everybody if you can please turn on your um your camera because I'm gonna be taking attendance right now. So can everybody have their cameras on? Okay, Jose Mauricio no lo logro ver. Okay, so let's start. Ana Isela Janes. Present teacher. Wonderful. Uh, Ana Ruth Perez. Present. Okay, thank you. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Diana Cristabel Meléndez Rivera. Gerardo José Tepa Sánchez. I'm here. Ok. No lo logramos ver, Gerardo. Solo vemos, sí que tiene que su cama encendida, pero a usted no lo logramos ver. Sí, es que tengo poca iluminación aquí. Dicho. Ah, ok. ¿Será que se puede acercar un poquito a la pantalla? Así creo que sí se puede. lograremos verlo. ¿No? ¿Tampoco? No sé si me puede ver. Mm -mm. No. No, mm. we can't see you. Ok, bueno. Eh, ok. Eh, tal, vez, tal vez si se logra mover a otro lugar que tal vez tenga una mejor iluminación, sería mejor. ¿Ok? Ok, sorry. Ok, wonderful. Um, José Mauricio Martínez. I'm here. Wonderful. Juana Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita, ¿no? Catherine Zuleima Poca Sangre. Catherine Suleima Boca Sangre. ¿No? Um, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Larios. Wonderful. Kat Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Laura Lisset Peña. Laura Lice Peña, eh, Lorena Areceli Hernández, Lorena Ale, Lorena Areceli Hernández. Present teacher. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Ah, ¿Está teniendo problemas con la cámara? Hola, Lorena. ¿Está teniendo problemas con la cámara? Hola, Tichan. ¿Está teniendo problemas? Fíjese con... que no, con la conexión. ¿Con, con Fíjese la que con la conexión ah. tengo problemas que me... Sí, ya lo logré ver. Ok, wonderful. No worries. Ok. Eh, me dice Cecilia Beltrán. Ok. Present, teacher. Excellent. Okay. 
a Mirna del Carmen Ruano. Mirna del Carmen Ruano. Oscar Otonel Cruz. Present. Okay, very good. Thank you. And Roberto Carlos Alparo. Roberto Carlos Alparo. No. Okay. El Salvador Antonio Martinez. Present teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Wonderful. Tamara Eugenia Aguilar. Present teacher. Excellent. And Ursula Adriana Burgos. Ursula Adriana Burgos. Okay, all right, very good everybody. Um, so what we're gonna do, we are going to um, start now with um, a new topic for today. One moment. Un momentito chicos. Okay, all right, so please tell me if you were able to see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. So on this side, we have places in a city. So we have a barber shop. Do you know what is a barber shop? Yes. 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 Yep. Okay. Yes. Good. All right. It, it's very similar to Spanish, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Laundromat. Do you know what is laundromat? Laundromat. Laundry. Huh? Lavanderia. Yeah, it's so a laundromat is a place where you go to a wash your clothes. It's like um it's like a public place where there are machines, washing machines and dryers. That's a laundromat. Yo creería si no me equivoco que no existen en El Salvador. Mm -hmm. mm, no, por lo menos no que yo he visto en Antiguo Cuscatlán sí oh. okay. ok por lo menos ahí eh, conozco una ah, ok ok mm. well, I stand corrected then um, eh, sí um, quizás entonces no sería muy común porque Exacto. la mayoría de las personas o bien tienen una um, a, 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 a washing machine at home or uh, or they have like una pila right so they they wash their clothes in, in, in you know like by hand okay but a laundromat is a place with many washing machines and many dry machines and you use them with coins, like with like uh, 25 cents usually. Okay. All right, next we have library. Do you understand what is library? Do you not, you understand library? Yes, biblioteca. Mm-hmm. Very good. Libraries, biblioteca. Stationary store. No. In my case, no. No? Stationary. 
stationery store. So stationery store are those stores where you go to buy um, materials, usually for the office or for school. Okay. 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 Like office depot. Yes. Although that's like a more like a stationery department store. Okay. <laughs> that was okay. like very, very <laughs> big. But stationery stores are more like the smaller ones where you go to buy like paper and, um, and yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Travel agency. Do you understand travel agency? Yes. I what that, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I didn't say that. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Um, grocery store. Yes. What is grocery store? It's like a yeah. supermarket. It's like a supermarket. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. What is that? Um, so grocery store is, it's like a supermarket, but a grocery store is more related to food. Supermarket is like very general. You can get you can get anything in a supermarket. Um you can even like maybe buy um I don't know like even things like a couch at a supermarket. But at a grocery store, no. A grocery store is only for food. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so like, like I said, like to give you the, an example, a a supermarket would be something like um. Mm, or you can get different things, electronics. Right. Like, uh, like for example, Walmart. Yes. Okay, Walmart would be a superstore. You can you can get anything at Walmart. You can even buy furniture for your house at Walmart. Okay. Yeah. Whereas this grocery store would would be only for food. Something like um Super Selectos. Super Selectos. Yeah. Or even better, things like um Yeah, super super selectos casi no, no se puede comprar otras cosas en realidad. Most it's mostly food. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. A theater. Cine. Mm -hmm. No. Not it exactly. Theater. Teatro. Yeah. No. Teatro. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like a teatro presidente. Um a, um, you must say that uh, national. No, okay. Okay, that be a theater. Okay. okay, so now what you're going to do is match the places with the description. What do you do in those places? Okay, so what do you do okay. at a barber shop? What do you do at a laundromat, etc. etc. So you're going to match. Okay. Okay. okay? So right now I'll give you some chances. It's not it shouldn't be difficult.
Okay. All right. Let's let's match. Okay. So a barber shop. It's a place where you can get a haircut. It's a place where you can yes. get a haircut. Can get a haircut. Yeah. It's a place where you you get or you get a haircut. Okay. Very good. Okay. A laundromat. What is a laundromat? It's a place where you can good. wash and dry clothes. Good. Excellent. A laundromat is a place where you wash and dry clothes. Library. It's a place where you can borrow books. It's a place where you can or you borrow books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So library is a place where you borrow books. Okay. Stationery store. It's a place where you buy cards and paper. Excellent, exactly. It's a place where you buy cards and paper. Travel agency? It's a place where you make a reservation for a trip. Excellent. It's a place where you make reservations for a trip. Grocery store? It's a place where you buy food. Yeah, it's a place where you buy food. And finally, a theater. Theater. It's a place where you see a movie or play. Excellent. It's a place where you see a movie or a play. Right. Oh, any questions? No. Okay, so now that you you understand how to do that, we're going to make our own definitions here. We're going to create the comp definitions. Oops, sorry. Same with one. So write the definitions for these words: clothing store, drugstore, internet cafe, music store and post office. Do you understand the meaning of those places? Mm, drugstore, pharmacy. Yeah, drugstore could be the pharmacy. Post office is el correo. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Wow. Anything else? Music store is the is the place where you can buy CD or. Mm -hmm. Okay, but but don't, don't tell me right now. Just just do you understand what to do? Mm, yes. Okay, perfect. So what I need you to do is you're going to be working with a partner, and you're going to create sentences about clothing store, drugstore, internet cafe, music store, and post office. For this, you're going to have to write the structure, the, the sentence is going to always start with, it's a place where you, and then whatever it is that you do. Okay, so you're always going to start with this phrase. It's a place where you, okay? And then you say whatever you do. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to uh, take a screenshot of this. And you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this with the partner. All 
Okay. Do you have it? Everybody sees it? Not yet. Do you know? No. No, teacher. Mm. Creo que le mandé el equivocado. Sí. <laughs> That's why you can't say it. Okay. I think I sent it to the correct one now. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms. And you are going to um make the sentences. I just want to make sure though that you are here so I can put you with a partner. Uh, Katherine Suleima? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Roberto Carlos? <clears throat> Roberto Carlos? Okay, like I thought. Um... Okay, uh, what about, uh, wait, chicos, encienden su, su, su cámara, por favor, para que pueda ver que sí están allí y que van a participar. Okay, Juana Sea. Hola, Juana. Juana. Hola, Juana. Melissa? Yes, teacher. Okay, you can participate. Okay. The, uh, Diana? Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Okay. All right, so I'm going to open the rooms right about now. Oscar, are you Hello. alone? Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can find your partner then. We're waiting for your partner to to connect. Okay, thanks. You're very welcome. Okay. 
Hello, Melissa. Hi. Estaba en otro, estaba en otro, en otro grupo, por eso no te había respondido. Con Ok. otras dos niñas, me cambiaron. <laughs> you ready to finish? Yes. Okay. Tell me. Clothing store, it's a place where you buy a different clothes. For example, cap, shirt, and uh, shoes. Yeah, drugstore, it's a place where you buy the medicine. For, for example, alcohol and, and next. Internet coffee, it's a place where you buy the coffee, meal, chocolate, and the music store. It's a place where you buy, listen to music, listen to music, pero Okay. por CD, por CD. of different artists and, po and post office fui a que que van a comprar en la oficina posta post <laughs> no yo no sé nunca he ido a una oficina posta you Okay. Clothing store is a place where you buy clothes, and pajamas, pants, shirts. The favorite place of women. Yes. Drug, <laughs> drug store, it's a place where you buy uh, pills, syrup, medications. Uh, internet coffee, I think. Post office is. <clears throat> I don't remember that the post office is when I received uh, a letter from my from my friends or from my family that live in another country. Mm -hmm. I think uh, post office is a place where you send uh, or receive mail and package. Yes, of course. Okay. Um, what is a clothing store? Clothing uh, store is a place when I can buy my own. Clothes, for example, t shirts, underwear, yeah, socks, and shirts, sweaters. Okay. Um, what is a drugstore? Mm, in a store when when we buy. medicine or sometimes when, when we go to a doctor because the drugstore in in here in, in El Salvador some we have some places that that hello Mirna Salvador. Hello. Hello. Are you finished? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wonderful. All right. Then in that case, I will return you to the main room. Okay. And we'll check the answers there. Okay.
Okay, Kaya, thank you. Very good. So we're going to be checking the answers. So tell me. Um, I'm going to choose different people and you can tell me what is the definition that you give. So Tamara, did you can, can you tell me what is, uh, well, the clothing store has already been done for you. It's a place where you find new fashions. But what about drugstore? What can you say about drugstore? Okay, it's a place where you get drugs or medication. Okay, good. It's a place where you get drugs or medications. Very good. Bravo. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Oscar Otoniel, can you tell me about Internet Cafe? Uh, I think it's a place uh, like a cyber cafe uh, 10 years ago in in Salvador where you can use a computer or use internet and drink a coffee. Uh, sorry, Oscar, could you repeat your sentence? I didn't hear very well. I think that is a place where you um, use a, a computer and internet. Mm -hmm. It's like a cyber cafe. Uh, right now, mm, right now, a uh, cyber cafe ya no se ven mucho, ya desaparecieron. But 10 years in English, ago. In English, in English. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, no se ven mucho en English. Uh, are not common. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now are not common. About 10 years ago, uh, was the bomb. Right. After class, after class, everybody gonna go to the cyber cafe to okay. to send emails, drink coffee, play video games, and right. other. Okay, good. And in English, we we say cyber cafe, not cyber, but cyber. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Uh, for music store, let's hear Salvador. Salvador Antonio. Uh, it's a place where you you can buy CDs and musical things like guitar. Okay. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Okay, very good. Post office, Lorena Araceli. Lorena Raceli? Lorena? Hola, Lorena. ¿No está? Buena sea. Buena. Buena. Ok. Eh, mira del Carmen. Can you tell me about the post office? The post office. Yeah. You can send page pay, page pay, <laughs> pack, pack, package or. Ok. Okay, we're, we, 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 before anything, we have to start with, it's a place where? It's, it's a where. It's, it's a place um, where you? It's a place where you, mm -hmm. and um, you can send page, page and receive, and the, um, also get, get your mail or, you to can pay later. Get okay, get <laughs> your mail. Yes. To get your mail. Excellent. Okay. Very, very good. Bravo. All right. Excellent, guys. 
Now we're going to pay attention to this conversation between Jack and Mrs. Day. Okay, so listen carefully, please, and repeat after me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Good. Be careful. It's not excuse me. Excuse me. No, it's excuse me. Me. Excuse me. Okay, good. So do not say excuse. Excuse, no. Excuse. Excuse. Okay. And it's cues, not cues. Excuse, no. It's cues. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse. Excuse me. Good. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. I just moved in. I just moved in. I just I just moved in. Oh yes. Sorry. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Are there any around here? Sorry. No. Perdón, chicos, se me movió. Yes, there are some. Yes, yes, there are some. Everybody, yes, there are some. Yes, yes, there are some on Pine Street. 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 Okay. Oh, good. Oh, oh, oh good. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? And is there a laundromat near here? Near here. Near here. Well, I think. Well, I think. I think. There's one across. There's one across. There's one across. There's one across. From the shopping center. From the shopping center. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. By the way. By the by way. way. There's a barber shop. There's a barber shop. In the shopping center too. In the shop. A barber shop? A barber shop? Okay. Why do you think Jack is is a surprise that Mrs. Day mentions a barber shop? He doesn't ask for that information. <laughs> Right. So why did Miss um why did Miss uh what's her name? Miss Day mention it? It's because he has long hair. Yeah, he has yeah. long hair, do you see, right? So she's like, Oh, there's a barber shop. So in other words, she says, Cut your hair. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so we're gonna practice this conversation. Um, 
I'm going to put in the chat. Um, okay, this moment. Uh, just a moment, guys. Okay. Do you see it? No. No? No. You, you don't see no. it at all? I got it. I got it. Okay. All yes. right. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So I'm going to put you back into the same uh, uh, groups with your partner so you can practice the conversation. Okay? Okay. Okay. So here we go. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, Jack, Jack. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor. Jack is just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on pantry. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? <laughs> Very good. Now, um, Mr. Day and you, Jack. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, come on, teacher. Yes, Excuse see. Me. Yes. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. Yes. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved. It. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Piney Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Yes. Finish. <laughs> Finish. Very good. I don't know. Okay. We're finished, teacher. Okay, keep on practicing. The idea is to get better at it, right? So practice, practice, I practice. Don't... Practice makes perfection. Okay, Teacher. Yes. How we can say alisado in English? Uh, alisado? Mm -hmm. um, Your a, hair? A hair? A hair straightening. Hair straightening? Mm hmm yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. You okay. Are you Jack? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just morning. Oh, yes. 
I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is a laundromat near her? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center. A barber shop? Yeah, it's only <laughs> good. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you Gerardo. Okay, any questions about the vocabulary, pronunciation? Mm, no. No? Teacher, the pronunciation about laundromat. 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 Mm -hmm. You got it, correct? Okay, thank you. Okay, good. I want to hear you guys practicing. So, um, Let's have Jose Mauricio and Tamara. Okay. Okay, teacher. I'll be. ¿Cómo se llama? Miss. Mrs. Miss Day. Uh -huh. And I'm going to be Jack. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Moved in. Oh, yeah? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Good, excellent. All right. Thank you. Bravo. Very good. Okay. And can I hear Ana Isela and Catherine? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Um, Catherine? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Jack, is your Mr. Day? Okay. Okay. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack, in just moving in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for, for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat, a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? <laughs> okay, very good. Round of applause. Excellent. All right. Just um, keep in mind, it's I just moved in. I just moved in. Just moved in. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. Um. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. yes. Okay. So we're going to be focusing right now on a, what exists. So when we're talking about what exists, we can say there is and there are. Okay. So there is means that it exists and something is singular. There are means that something exists and it's plural. 
Okay. So now when you're asking a question though, we reverse it. Instead of saying there is, we're going to say, is there? So is there a laundromat near here? Or instead of saying there are, we're going to reverse it and say, are there? Are there any grocery stores around here? Okay. Now, when we're talking about something that's singular, you're going to be using a or an. Okay. Is there a laundromat? Is there an apartment? Is there a park? Is there an, a, an elevator, et cetera, et cetera? When something is plural, you're going to say, are there any? We're going to use the word any to make a question. Are there any? Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then, of course, we're going to be talking about what you're asking about. Laundromat, in this case, grocery stores, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. They're going to say, is there a or is there an? And then the thing. Or are there any? And then you say the, the, the thing in plural. Okay. Now, how are you going to answer? You're going to answer either with a yes or with a no. Okay, it's pretty simple. You're going to answer with either a yes or a no. If you answer with a yes, if you answer with a yes, you're going to say, if it's, sing if it's singular, you're going to say, yes, there is. If it's um, no, and a singular, you guys say no, there isn't. Okay. If it's plural and it's and it exists, you're gonna say yes, there are. And if it's plural and it doesn't exist, you can say no, there aren't. Or more specifically, no, there aren't any. So we can also use the word any here. Okay, so any we can use, if you notice, we can use it when we're talking about a question. Okay, that's why we use any, because we're talking about a question. We can also talk about any when we have a negative, like aren't, in plural. Does that make sense? Does it make sense or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, um, we also use other words that we can use are one, instead of instead of saying a uh, or an, we can use say we can also say one. There's one. It's like when you say in Spanish. Um, I, I, I alguna, eh, I alguna farmacia por acá. Si sí, hay una en tal lugar, hay una. Okay, so we can say one. Okay. Now we can also use the word some if we're talking about something that is plural affirmative. Plural affirmative. Okay, so, ¿hay algún supermercado por acá? Sí. ¿O oh, hay algunos supermercados por acá? Sí los hay. Hay algunos en esta calle y otros en la calle allá abajo. Right? So, some. Any questions about that? So far, so good? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, and now let's just make sure that you understand the prepositions. But we have preposition on. What is on in Spanish? What is sobre. on? Sobre. Good. 
next to a la par de a la par de near or close to cerca de cerca de cerca de mm -hmm. across from or opposite from enfrente enfrente mm -hmm. enfrente de um o al otro lado de Okay. In front of? In front of. In front of. So this is more like, this is more like um, al otro lado de. Uh -huh. O puesto de. Okay. And in front of is more like in frente. In, in back of or in back behind? Detrás. Yes. Detrás. Between? En medio. En medio. And on the corner of? En la esquina. En la esquina de. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys, we're going to stop there and we're going to practice this tomorrow. Okay, we're going to practice more of this tomorrow. Why tomorrow? ¿Por qué, por qué digo mañana? Por la clase que se perdió. El lunes. Mm -hmm. Porque vamos a reponer esa clase mañana. Entonces, sí, hay clase mañana. ¿Ok? No se les olvide. Hay clase mañana. ¿Ok? All right. Okay. So, I'm going to take attendance. Eh, Ana Isela Llanes. Present, teacher. Ana Ruth Pérez. Present. Good. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Carlos Ernesto Flores. Diana Isabel Meléndez. Present. Excellent. Um, Gerardo Jose Tepas. I'm here. Okay. Eh, Jose Mauricio Martinez. I'm here. Okay. Juana Valte Margarita Sea. Juana Margarita. Juana Margarita, no la vemos, no escuchamos nada. Ella puso en el chat que está en el trabajo y que está saliendo a las 10.30. En el chat de Zoom lo puso. Ahí lo puede okay. ver. Ok, Bye. chicos, nuevamente les recuerdo esto. Aunque ustedes estén trabajando y, y se conecte, eso es excelente, pero necesitamos que por el corto espacio de tiempo de que cinco tres segundos que, que toma para encender la cámara y encender el micrófono y decir present que lo enciendan porque no no hay registro no hay manera de comprobar que usted realmente estaba ahí en la clase que era usted la que estaba la persona que estaba en la clase por medio de un chat ok entonces eh, con nuevamente los chats no se no se registran en Insafor, o sea, cuando Insafor vea vea el video, ellos no ven chats. Entonces, eh, solamente toma cinco segundos abrir cámara y decir presente, ni a siquiera cinco segundos. Pero si sí necesitamos es ese eso que que puedan abrir las cámaras, que podamos ver que realmente es usted que lo está recibiendo la clase. ¿Verdad? Y no solamente que está, que, que se conectó y dejó encendido ahí el, el, el dispositivo, ¿ok? Por favor, les pido ese compromiso porque es algo que ustedes mismos se comprometieron a hacer, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Um, continuamos. Um, Catherine Zuleima Poca Sangre. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Um, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Catherine, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Laura Lizette Peña. Laura Lizette Peña. Eh, Lorena Araceli Hernández. 
Present teacher. Excellent. Melissa Cecilia Beltran. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Eh, Mina del Carmen Urbano. Present teacher. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, Oscar Toniel Cruz. Present. Roberto Carlos de Faro. Present. Thank you. Um, El Salvador Antonio Martínez. Present. Eh, Sebastián, Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present teacher. Eh, Tamara Eugenio Aguilar. Present. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Perfecto. All right. So, guys, remember, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. There is class tomorrow. Okay. So, take care and have a good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. You're welcome. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good I disculpe. <laughs>